Welcome to Tacoma Tempo. I'm Adele Bonoski, and each week we shine the spotlight on some of the Washington area's finest musicians. And tonight uh, we've uh, gone off campus and we're down at the East Side Club talking to and listening to Pete Kennedy and the Bound for Glory band. And uh, Pete Kennedy, right here. John Carroll, who also does guitar and some vocals. And the rhythm section on this side, Johnny Castle and Pete Ragusa. Hi, Ma. Again, collectively, the Bound for Glory band, Pete Kennedy. So uh, this is your second time. I thought we scared you off the first time around on Tacoma Tempo. It was pretty scary. Yeah. It took me a year before I had the courage I mean, to. you know, last time you were playing folk music and talking about uh, Clarence Ashley and forays to the Library of Congress, and it shook you up so much that you discarded all of that and became a rocker. Just when you thought it was safe yeah. to go back on TV. So how did this <laughs> how did this metamorphosis occur? Actually, I've been doing this all along, too. I started playing both. Kind of, to me, it's not two different kinds of music. It's all the same thing. And I started doing it all. I always had this identity crisis. As a kid, I was into Jimi Hendrix and Doc Watson. Mm -hmm. and, uh, now I'm, sometimes I lean more towards the Doc Watson side of things. And now I'm doing it. The song that you opened up with, uh, is that you have a new album out, which we'll be talking about? But is that from that album, or is this a, yet uh, another new work? Since the last time I saw you, I put out an album called Bound for Glory, which um, I recorded mostly myself, but it's a rock and roll album. Mm -hmm. I overdubbed all the guitar parts and vocal parts and stuff like that. So you were the, pretty much the, the musician on that. Robbie Magruder played drums mm -hmm. on it too. And Martha Hull. And Martha Hull on it too. Yeah. Uh -huh. We did what a girl can do with Martha. And um, I was already working on that record when I did the appearance last year. But then I finished the record and I put it out. You were being very covert, though. You were, you were just hinting at what might be on yeah. the albums. So, yeah. Uh, now it's, it's in the important. stores and people mm -hmm. can go out and get it. Yeah. And the that's called Bound for Glory. The band by the album of the same name. We named the band after the record. <laughs> and I actually okay. didn't have a band together when I put out the record, so I um, scratched around and I wound up with these guys. I don't, you know, 
I would have liked to have done better. Oh, it's hard to get good help these <laughs> days. Is, yeah. And I still do a few acoustic things now and then, but the songs are right now. I'm doing all my own stuff, which is a very big change, too, from the last year when I was doing mostly traditional kind of stuff. I'm doing my own stuff now, and the songs can be done either solo or with a band, but I love doing the band. That's the most, the most fun, especially if I just need it. Uh, yeah, the material on uh, that, uh, the album Bound for Glory, there are a few original tunes on there, but you also cover Bob Dylan and uh, some old garage band, The, the Hangman. Yeah. I did those for a couple of reasons. I wanted to sort of repay some debts to kinds of music that I grew up with, you know, rockabilly and country and folk and garage stuff, which I certainly played a lot of back in the garage days. So I wanted to put those things on the first album and kind of get that out of my system and then just go on and focus on the original stuff after that. Now, what, the set that you're doing, for example, tonight, is that mostly original tunes? Yeah, we'll be doing mostly new stuff, as a matter of fact. We like to, um, we do stuff from the album, but rather than just crank out a set thing, we like to, uh, we're always learning new songs all the time, and writing all the time, so we do all brand new songs at every, uh, every show. There's just stuff that's only a couple of days old, as a So, you think there'll be another album with this band? This we're point, in the process in the of finishing another album right now that was done all with this band. Mm -hmm. And um, Nelson Riddle. Yeah, Nelson Riddle. <laughs> but Barrage so, filling um, in too, right? When that's going to come out, I don't know, but we're working on it mm -hmm. right now. Now, how long has this band been together? Uh, obviously, you couldn't go up on stage and do your album by yourself. So, no. Uh, when the album came out, which was in August of um, last year, I had to put a band together, like I was saying, and I searched around. It just so happened at that time that a couple of other bands strategically um, split. Yeah, and so. You want to address that, Pete? Available. What was the question? <laughs> you are a, a refugee from uh, the Nighthawks. What 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 happened with me was things, uh, I was talking to Pete's manager, Tom Carrico, and he was telling me that he was working with Pete and that Pete was getting ready to put out an album and. A few weeks later, after the Hawks had decided to take a rest. Sabbatical. I, I call it what you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was talking with Johnny here, and I said, well, you know, I, I heard that Pete's uh, looking to put a rhythm section together. What do you say we approach him about it? And we did, and we had a rehearsal one afternoon in August, and it just gelled together real nice, real fast. And uh, the next rehearsal, uh, John Carroll came along, and uh, we've been brothers in arms ever since. Now, you, of course, have been kicking around this area for many a moon, as has Pete. Is this, the, the is, this, is this the first time, though, that you all have played in a unit together? Or, uh, I mean, I know you were in some of the as Cheek to Cheek All Stars. Yeah, and as a like band, that. yeah, collectively, we're this is the first time for all of us, yeah. John, now, John and John and I did a thing last year in a thing called the Washington, D.C. All Stars. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, that this is uh, our first gathering. Uh, and you have some other projects in the work, uh, so people may sit, you may look familiar to people not from this unit or from the Nighthawks. Uh, you want to uh, say what you were up to? Well, I've been working with Elvin Bishop on the road. Uh, Johnny has also. Uh, I've been doing some uh, drumming for Johnny on some stuff that Johnny's recording in his own material. Are you the hired gun rhythm section? Oh, well, try, just trying to make a living, you know. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make a living. And, uh, it's nice to be a resident of Maryland again. <laughs> well, that was pretty much it with the Hawks, right? Uh, just yeah, we just decided after, that... After uh, a dozen years on the road. Yeah, uh, the, basically the economics of it really dictated that it's time to get off because it, the club scene being like it is, not just here but everywhere else mm -hmm. in the country, it's, uh, it's hard to work every night of the week anymore on the road. And after a while, you're out there working for rider truck in the motels, you know, so it, uh, <laughs> rather than yourself. And, it, became, it was becoming a job, yeah. and it wasn't fun anymore. Not an adventure. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it was an it's adventure staying alive. <laughs> it was well, an adventure figuring out how to pay the motel bill. Let me tell you. Port of Call, Bay on New Jersey. Well, well, speaking of adventure, let's listen to a couple of more songs, and then we'll come back and talk just a brief bit. So, uh, again, you're going to be uh, seeing and hearing Pete Kennedy and the Bound for Glory band. Let's go, guys. I do a tune right now from an album called Bound for Glory. It's a thing called uh, Tune of Bars. It's called The Same Old Way. Oh. 
tune right now it's called the music is lightning the word is thunder
back at Tacoma Tempo. Uh, again, we're talking with Pete Kennedy and the Bound for Glory band, and we're down at the east side with Lawrence Bell and the Sultans yodeling in the background. And uh, Nice place here. If you try to get down, don't get scared off. It does exist. You just uh, have to go beyond where any man has gone before. Support your local industrial area. <laughs> it's really not hard to get to, though. It's just it's beyond the end of the earth. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, uh, when we left, we were talking with Pete. Uh, how about the other side of the rhythm section? Uh, you've got a bit of history here in DC. Yeah, it goes too far back, but. Uh, <laughs> Want to admit to any but, of it? Oh, sure. I guess. <laughs> Tell us about your kids. We can always call up the rap sheet. <laughs> well, I'll give you a few numbers you can call and find all about it. No, um, I guess the last thing most people remember me from is those is switchblade. Throw a switch and um, who has the mic? You? I do. I'll speak into your chest. <laughs> and, um, or hand me the stereo. It was the same kind of thing as with Pete. You know, we were basically gunning for an album and got real close but no cigar and uh, it started becoming a job and a full-time party and that started getting us nowhere fast and I started uh, I started freelancing around basically this time last year I was playing um, in four different bands five different bands regularly which was uh, an act of booking genius, but uh, <laughs> how, how can I you be in out. two places at once? Exactly. Well, there were those situations occasionally. <laughs> Fortunately, I have friends to cover and vice versa. But uh, anyway, that started getting me stretched out too, and I had some of my own projects uh, that I was interested in. A project, anyway, recording, and Pete helped me out with that with Stuart Smith, and then um, some new songs came down the pipe. We started working on that, and about the same time, we heard about Pete. I mean, this is kind of redundant because. Uh, Pete already told you this stuff, yeah. but... Um, well, it's good to get the other version out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like Pete, uh, we just got back from a little tour with um, some of the blues legends, as I call it, the Rosebud tour with Elvin Bishop, John Lee Hooker, John Hammond, and uh, Pine Top Traveling shoes. Yeah, yeah, we were traveling all up in Canada and around the uh, Great Lakes and the States. and Iron Curtain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or some places curtain. that just seem that way. <laughs> anyway... Um, so we did a nice little tour like that, and we just did a week with Elvin Bishop that was a lot of fun. And so who knows, stuff. you may be back again in uh, that knows? configuration. But the main thing, you know, I'd like to see this thing through. This is, um, Pete writes some great songs, and I didn't even hear the lyrics until I heard the final, <laughs> or the, the last, quote, final mixes of the album. And, uh, and they're great, they're great lyrics coming from, you know, that's one of the things I do. And unfortunately, I haven't done any lately, but <laughs> hopefully that ball will start rolling again soon. Right now, I'm just happy to play bass with these guys and yell at the microphone a little bit. Great. Now, I don't want to forget John down on this end. It's okay, Pete. Uh, John Carroll. You, uh, Hi, you are perhaps one of the uh, few people to break out of Washington and be nationally known. Yes, I broke out of here. And then you came back. <laughs> you back in. You sought, you sought <laughs> refuge. I had to pay to get back in. <laughs> why, why don't you uh, give us a little bit of the litany there? Your face may be familiar. This is not your first venture to no. television. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> no, I've, I've learned that when the, when the TV cameras plug in, the clock stops. I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you uh, were in the Starland Vocal Band. That's right. 
uh, till 1979, uh, 80, and then since then I had my own band called Metro, John Carroll right. Metro, and uh, I decided to sort of put that on the back burner until I had my album done, so I know what kind of show I'm going to do. You know, so. <laughs> and uh, did, if I recall, you won one of the Whammies, the Washington Area Music Awards for songwriting. Yeah, last year won the songwriter, and then this year won. One of the other ones. Best male vocalist. Best male vocalist. Yeah, that, right. that, you know, I can understand why you'd forget about that one. <laughs> well, we were in the pit playing. Pete was there playing, and, and I was playing, and, and the awards were being given, and we couldn't, we didn't know what was going on. Just were, stuck an arm up and caught it. I was eating a banana. Yeah. <laughs> I was so hungry, I didn't get to eat all day, and I brought an apple and a banana up, and I put them on the music stand. And I'd lean over like I was reading the music, and I'd be like, banana. <laughs> well, now you heard it here first. But anyway, you've got a couple more songs, so we will close up. But it's been good talking with you again. And I wish you a lot of luck. We'll be looking for a new album coming out. And in the meantime, people can get the Bound for Glory record by Pete Kennedy. And yes. what label is it on? It's on Rosewood Records. And it's available at your finer record shops yeah. in the Washington area? Great. Well, again, you'll be uh, watching Pete Kennedy and the Bound for Glory band. I'm Adele Vinosky, and this is Tacoma Tempo. Until next time, get out there and support some local music. Tune right now that deals with the uh, situation over in South Africa and a man who's a prisoner out, out on a place called Robben Island there. His name's Nelson Mandela. This is a tune for him. Right on Robben Island There's a spirit that remains a man they could torture and beat, they could not contain. He's riding in his cell alone, but he lives in a million hearts. He's calling tonight across the cool South African plain. Coming down.